everybody. Megan at A Cover Lover, and it's time for In My Mailbox. First of all, I just want to say that um, I absolutely love Christy as the story siren who hosts In My Mailbox. And no matter what anybody says about the In My Mailbox feature, I love it. I don't do it because I want to brag about the different arcs that I get. I want to show them off and say, hey, this is what I'm going to be reading. Why? Because I love books. And I want to share that love with others. So, Christy, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing an awesome job. Don't worry about people trash talking. It's, it's going to happen. So, anyways, I'll show you guys what I got this week. I'm very excited about color. It's so awesome. I was able to get this um, Tuesday. I had one on back order at through bestbuy.com but there was a three week wait so I went ahead and canceled it and got this. This is my cover. Nook color. And I'll turn it on for you guys and show you my wallpaper. It's me and my husband on our wedding day. And I actually just got the the matte finish. I guess it's not really matte finish. Um, but it's the anti-glare screen protector. It fits perfectly. I only got, I got it on with the first try. Um, I think you get for $6.95 you get two of them. So if you have a nut color I would definitely recommend the anti-glare screen protectors. They're awesome. I can't even tell that it's on there. Um, so yeah, that's my awesome nut color. I also, several weeks before I even got it, got a Borsabella bag. Borsabella.com. They're great. The nook inside the case fits inside the cover. So if you have a nut color, definitely look into getting one of those. And they're so well made. Okay. As for books, I only got one for review. And the author contacted me through Goodreads because I had enter in, entered in a giveaway for his book and he contacted me saying hey I saw that you entered would you like a free copy for review heck yeah why not so I got Textual Healing by Eric Smith and I've heard about a few people reading it I really haven't had a haven't heard a whole lot of reviews I know it's supposed to be funny it's about an author whose best-selling novel goes on clearance for like a dollar thirty-seven at Barnes and Noble, and he gets tricked into going to this uh, support group for writers who can't seem to write anymore. Uh, it talks about he has a pet sugar glider. There's a love interest involved. Blah blah blah. It looks really funny, so I'm actually planning on starting this today if I can get around to it. <clears throat> so that's all I got for your review. Thanks, Eric. When I when I went to Barnes and Noble and got my Nook, I also bought Red Riding Hood by Sarah Blakely Cartwright. Ah. And there's a movie coming out about this, which is why I wanted to hurry up and get it because I want to read it before the movie comes out. I really, honestly, haven't read too many. I don't. I haven't read too many reviews on this either. I'm weird about reading reviews on books that I want to read <clears throat> that I've heard are good because I don't want to see spoilers. And what other people don't consider spoilers, I do. Like, I don't want to know too much about the book. That's why I try not to give away a whole lot in my reviews. But on the back it says, The blacksmith would marry her, the woodcutter would run away with her, the werewolf would turn her into one of its own. There. So, I'm very excited to read this one. I'm not sure what they call this, but since it's paperback, like, it has the flip open cover right here. I love that. It's so cool. But I'm not sure why they do that. Yesterday, has my husband and I celebrated our Valentine's Day because he's going to be working tomorrow. And we went out to eat, had some Japanese hibachi, and we were going to go see a movie. But we both weren't feeling very well, so we just wanted to rented a movie instead, and we went and got him Mass Effect 2, so I was like, hey, you're getting a video game, I need some books. So we went to Walmart, because 
the nearest Barnes & Noble is like almost an hour away. And I got Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. So excited about this, you guys. Like, if you read my review for Delirium, I really like Delirium. I, well, I love Delirium. And it's the first book I had read by Lauren Oliver, and I've heard so many good things about Before I Fall. I mean, come on. It's a New York Times bestseller, really. So I had to get it. And I said it would be the next book I buy. And it was. So. I really honestly don't know what this one's about. All I know is it talks about waiting for tomorrow and tomorrow's not always guaranteed and I don't know I'm thinking somebody dies but who knows so hopefully I'll get to this soon <sighs> yay also I just wanted to mention um, the reviews or the reviews the e-galleys that I've gotten for review via net galley I forgot to mention them last week, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's see if I can get it open. And I'll post um, the covers and links to the books below on Goodreads so you can see the covers. Because obviously I don't have books in my hands. They're e-galleys. So I got The Vespertine by Sandra Mitchell. It comes out March 7th. I got Savannah Gray by Cliff McNish. It comes out April 1st. I got Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly. It comes out May 24th. I got Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. It comes out July 4th, 4th of July book. And I got Outside In by Maria V. Schneider, and it comes out the 22nd of this month. Now, I have not read Inside, Inside Out, which is the first book to Outside In. It is on hold with my, I guess, e-library. So I could read the ebook of it. Hopefully I'll get that soon. I'm next in line. But hopefully I'll get that soon so I can read Outside In and post reviews not long after um, the release date. So that's about it, guys. And it was a pretty good week for me. Um, as you can see, I have some makeshift bookshelves. They're actually like three shelf storage things from Lowe's. But they're working right now. I actually went and bought two more. I have them over there. I have to put together. So, until we move in June, we won't be buying actual bookshelves. But this works. It holds most of them. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And I'm interested to see what everybody got in your mailbox. So, see you guys.